Hey friends, this is Quest and Current and today I'm going to show you the two cheapest cables that you can buy on the right hand side Amazon and the left hand side AliExpress. So before we're getting into it, both of them actually came quite quickly, even though this one directly came from China and, and that one from some warehouse near, near me. And the Amazon one cost one euro and 70 cents, including shipping. And the AliExpress one was one euro and 38 cents, including shipping, which in bo both cases is less than one scoop of ice from my local ice cream parlor. And interestingly enough, the quality on the first glance seems not too bad, especially for the Amazon cable. So I'm going to unpack it and then we can take a look. So what we can see here is that both of them seem of similar length, I would presume um, one, 1 1.5 meters, yes. So both of them seem to be around 1.5 meters in length. And the Amazon cable itself is shielded uh, with some wire mesh that, that looks metallic and feels metallic. So that one seems to be, the, be a bit more durable. And this one also is a bit thinner, so it feels thinner. You can see that the cable itself is made to look like some, some proprietary Apple kind of thing, especially if you take it to collect connector where you know that the cable is going to fray exactly at this position here. And on first glance, they both look like everything is in place. So the connectors look fine, but we do have to test them anyway. So let me get in the tester and then we take a look what the cables can actually do and, and what they are rated for. Both of them in the ads say that they can do 60 watts USB power delivery. Um, one of them says power delivery 3.0, the, the other one just says um, USB PD. And this would indicate that the cable can actually talk. Ah, okay, so it turns out it can't. And what we can see is that the charging power is named at 15 watts, which um, can also do the 60 watt uh, without the power delivery negotiations. And the data speed is kept at a uh, mere 480 megabits per second, which means that it's a USB 2 cable. And if we take a look, it says, yeah, USB 1.1 and 2 at 5 volts. Theoretically, also everything up to 20 volts uh, without, without the power delivery negotiations and everything from 0 0.5 to 3 amps. And what you can see here is that the cable is actually the, the bare minimum of a cable that um, actually connects with the connector itself because it only has one of the CC pins, the two data pins and the pins for rebus and ground. And yeah, we can actually see that the, the pin connected is the CC1 pin and if we flip the cable around it should say CC2 pin. What we can see is that actually the shield is connected, which is interesting because I didn't expect it to be. And the rebus resistance is at 98 milliohms, which is quite high to be honest, especially for a new cable where the connector is still quite um, un unused and, and not scratched in any way. There is no e mark inside, like we just said. And the cable itself is okay, I would say, especially for, for the price point of 1 euros and 70 cents. You cannot expect too much, but it would charge your phone in the end, so that, that's fine. Now, let's take a look at the second one, the, the white one from AliExpress. This one was, was even cheaper than the other one at, at 138. And if we connect that one to the tester, we can also take a look. And it seems to be basically identical. It, it's a USB 2 cable uh, rated at 15 watts or uh, without the power delivery negotiations if you go up to 20 volts at 3 amps 60 watts. And <laughs> interestingly enough, funny enough, the connector is, is pretty much assembled in the same way. So it, it may even have dropped out of the same machine uh, in the factory itself. So they also only use one of the CC pins, one of the CC connectors um, instead of two. So they actually only implement the bare minimum. The VBUS resistance in this case is even higher at 108 milliohms. This means 
that if you want to draw one, two or three amps of current, then you will start to have a noticeable voltage drop across the cable, especially the connectors. So it may happen that, that you cannot actually draw the 60 watts that, that they um, claim and advertise it can do, and definitely no um, USB power delivery in any kind of e-marker standard, so there's nothing active inside, there's nothing that can talk in this cable, there's nothing that you can do. But all in all, with this in mind, we now know that both cables together um, at their, their price point are not too shabby, especially the one from Amazon. I would pay the extra couple of cents for, for the shielding. They do feel quite thin, so the, the copper or whatever they are using inside aluminum, I don't know, is definitely on, on the lowest end you can actually manufacture a cable with. So it may be limiting to the devices that you're actually using, but in all practical aspects, it is still a cable. So if, if you want to, to charge anything like um, your speakers or your headphones or small devices that don't need a lot of power, they should be perfectly fine. And with this, uh, thanks for your attention. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments below and we will see you next week.